Mystery beckons, secrets unravel. Join Secretum on a thrilling exploration where the unknown whispers your name. While shadows hide untold secrets, your curiosity holds the key. Subscribe and like, unlock the whispers, and together we'll illuminate the path to hidden truths. Tullus Hostilius, the fire and iron king of Rome. The sun bathed the hills of Rome in fields of golden poppies. Yet, a tense silence pervaded the forum. Following the end of the long and peaceful reign of King Numa Pompilius, the Romans had gathered to elect a new king. Two candidates stood forth, Ancus Martius, the grandson of Numa, and Tullus Hostilius, the nephew of Romulus. Ancus, known for his desire to follow in his grandfather's footsteps as a wise and peaceful leader. Tullus, however, was cut from a different cloth. His eyes blazed with a constant fire. His voice trembled with excitement as he spoke of victories on the battlefield. The ambition and fire of Rome seemed to embody itself within Tullus's spirit. That day, the voices rose in the square Rome is ready for war, seeking a leader. The booming voices praised Tullus's courage and success on the battlefield, while Ancus's peaceful approach mingled with the fiery atmosphere in hushed tones. In the end, it seemed Rome's blood was ready to cry out for war, and Tullus Hostilius was elected king by a large majority. But who was this Tullus? Tullus Hostilius, the birth of a king. The story of Tullus Hostilius is known as the nephew of Romulus and the third king of Rome. However, little is known about his childhood and birth. Historians, using legends and archaeological findings, are attempting to piece together a mosaic of Tullus's early life. Tullus is believed to have been born in a village near the city of Alba Longa, his father, Hostus Hostilius, hailed from a noble family of Alba Longa and was the nephew of Romulus. Little is known about his mother. One of the most well-known stories about Tullus's childhood involves the tyranny of King Amulius of Alba Longa. Amulius, in his quest for the throne, had murdered his brother and sought to destroy his nephews. One of these nephews was Rhea Silvia, who, assuming the role of a Vestal Virgin, undertook a sacred duty to protect herself. However, the union of Rhea Silvia with the war god Mars resulted in the birth of twin babies, Romulus and Remus. Despite Amulius's orders to have the twin babies killed, they survived being left in a basket on the Tiber River. Nursed by a she-wolf, Romulus and Remus grew up and eventually returned to Alba Longa, where they overthrew their uncle, Amulius. Tullus's exact place in this story is uncertain. Some sources claim that Tullus was the third child of Rhea Silvia, and therefore the triplet brother of Romulus and Remus. Others argue that Tullus was a cousin of Romulus and Remus, and was adopted into a noble family of Alba Longa. In either case, Tullus spent his childhood in the shadow of Romulus and Remus. From the moment he ascended to the throne, Tullus Hostilius began preparing Rome for war. He reorganized the legions, instilled strict discipline in the soldiers, and the clang of bronze armor resounded in the forum. He built new walls around the city and began wearing an iron helmet to intimidate his enemies. This warlike fervor, like a gathering storm cloud, finally erupted in a dispute with the neighboring city-state of Alba Longa. The long-standing alliance between the two cities shattered in a clash of honor. Led by King Metius Fufetius, the army of Alba Longa proposed to settle the war with a duel. Each side would choose a champion 
and the winner's city would claim dominance over the other. Tullus Hostilius accepted the challenge and chose his loyal friend, Horatius Cocles, as his champion. Alba Longa selected one of the Horatii triplets. The duel commenced, and after the Horatii brothers fell one by one, Horatius Cocles stood alone and, by throwing himself into the Tiber River, secured victory for Rome. Alba Longa was defeated. Tullus Hostilius, deciding to destroy the city, forcibly relocated its inhabitants to Rome and mercilessly executed its leaders. While this ruthless decision called into question Rome's sense of justice, it was a testament to Tullus's power and ruthlessness. Rome not only fought with Alba Longa, but also engaged in wars with other neighboring city-states like Fidenate, Vei, and Crustumerium. While each of these wars increased Rome's power and territory, they also strained the city's resources and prompted scrutiny of Tullus's merciless leadership style. The Betrayal of Fidenate Fidenate, betraying an agreement with Rome, attacked the city of Vi. Tullus Hostilius seized this opportunity and declared war on both cities. He besieged Fidenate, captured the city, took its inhabitants as slaves, and brought their spoils to Rome. While this victory bolstered Tullus's military prowess, the harsh punishments inflicted upon the people of Fidenate once again highlighted his brutality. The Prolonged War with Vei Vei, one of the most prominent members of the Etruscan League, stood as Rome's greatest rival. After capturing Fidenate, Tullus Hostilius engaged in a long and arduous war with Vei. This conflict lasted for years, resulting in significant losses for both sides. Despite Tullus's attempts to conquer Vei through siege tactics, he was unsuccessful. The Destruction of Crustumerium Crustumerium, a small Sabine town, frequently raided Rome. Tullus Hostilius, weary of these raids, launched a sudden attack on the town. Crustumerium offered little resistance and was quickly overrun. Tullus razed the town to the ground and brought its people to Rome as slaves. This ruthless decision is considered one of Tullus's most controversial actions in history. Tullus Hostilius's reign was not solely defined by warfare. He expanded the forum, constructed the Cloaca Maxima sewer system to keep the city clean, and built temples for worship. However, unlike Ancus Martius, who sought peace, he utilized Haruspices, diviners, to understand divine will. Tullus Hostilius ruled as the King of Rome for 32 years. His life, like his death, was marked by battles, victories, and controversial decisions. Tullus significantly expanded Rome's territories and enhanced the city's prestige. However, his excessive zeal for war and some ruthless decisions tarnished his legacy. Following his death, a struggle for the throne of Rome ensued between Ancus Martius and Lucius Tarquinius Priscus. Ancus Martius, the son of a Etruscan leader, and Lucius Tarquinius Priscus, who sought revenge for the sons of Tullus Hostilius. The history of Rome was poised to turn a new page with the reign of the next king. Mystery beckons, secrets unravel. Join Secretum on a thrilling exploration where the unknown whispers your name. 
While shadows hide untold secrets, your curiosity holds the key. Subscribe and like, unlock the whispers, and together we'll illuminate the path to hidden truths.